All right, today I'm doing a basic tutorial on the VLOOKUP formula in Google Sheets. So here's the basic structure of the VLOOKUP formula as per Google. So we start with a search key, and the search key is what you're searching for. The range is where you're searching for that key in. The index is the column you want to return, and the final is sorted, is determining whether you're looking for an exact match or the closest value less than or equal to the search key. So we'll get, the, to get to that and explain that here in a moment. One thing to note is you can only return a column to the right of the search column. If you need to return to the column to the left, try using XLOOKUP or check out our in-depth VLOOKUP formula for ways to do this in VLOOKUP. But today we're trying to keep it to the basics, and so we're not going to cover that today. So here is a quick table. We're looking up for the commission percentage of an agent. So we have that table over here but we need to pull it into our sales column. And so let's go ahead and open up our VLOOKUP. So the search key is going to be the agent name, and that's what we want to look up in here and return the commission. So now the range is going to be the source data, and I want to drag this down, so I'm gonna go ahead and lock this so this, these cell references don't change. All right, the index is going to be the column, so the column one would be C, or the agent, that's where, where I'm looking. Uh, I don't actually want to turn the agent name, I want to turn the commission, which is going to be column 2. And I do want an exact match, so I'm going to use false. And this autofill is going to work just fine because I locked those cell references. So here we go, we have those commission percentages pulled in just like that. Alright, next let's go ahead and look at how that sorted part works. This can be confusing for a lot of people on how this works. So this one, we have a numeric range between 0 to 399, 400 to 599, and so forth to determine member level. And so here we have deal amount, and we want to determine which range it falls into. So what we're going to do is grab our source table. I'm going to go ahead and lock it again. And this time we're looking in the first column, of course. Uh, and as one thing to note, um, whatever range you specify, the search key is going to be looking in that first column. So our index here then is going to be column 3 for the bronze, silver, gold, platinum, etc. The last thing we need to do is instead of false, we need to do true. So we are sorting this. So let's go ahead and let this populate down, and I'll explain how this is working. So platinum is looking just in this column, so this column is actually not needed. If we delete these values, you can see everything is still working. So it's only looking in this column, and that's why we start with the zero. So what this is doing is looking for 940 in this column, and 940 is greater than 800, so it's going to return platinum. 730 is between these two, and so it's going to return this one, which is gold, and so forth. So here we have a bronze, so bronze is less than 400 greater than zero. Now if we change this to 300, this one's going to return an error because it's not finding anything less than um, 270 in the table. So that's one thing to note, and it's a thing that's often confusing for people. So hopefully that helps you if you just structure your table like this, and then you can use your sorted VLOOKUPs to find out where this falls in there. And this could be uh, a member level, it could be a percentage commission even, um, kind of what we're doing in the last one. All right, finally, so people look at the numbers and sorting, and they're like, well, what happens if I have a number, but I need to find the exact number? Well, all you got to do then is just do a simple VLOOKUP. We'll do this here. Let me go ahead and lock that to, and then all we need to do then is use false instead of true, and then it'll go ahead and find that just like that. All right, that is it for today. Tune back again soon for more Formula Basics in Google Sheets.